All right, guys, what's up? So it's about 3 p.m. on a Tuesday. I still don't feel great. I'm still really sniffly and not runny nose, and I'm sneezing quite a lot. So because of that, I'm not going to go to the gym today. Not because I'm sick, just because I don't want to be that guy that's going around the gym sneezing all over all the equipment and wiping my nose all the time. I just, it would irritate me if someone came to the gym sick and started like infecting everything with their cold. So I don't want to be that guy. So what I'm going to do today is just go to the park and walk a little bit later. Sneeze coming right now. Go, go away. Go away. Thank you. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Cut. I've been working really hard all day on Alpha 100. I want to let you guys kind of in on what it is that I'm doing. So, number one, the whole program, the whole program, <laughs> the whole program was on a platform called Kajabi. That was my business partner's platform. We separated, so I wanted to redo it and have it on a PDF format because it's simpler and and I can put it on my home website. So, I redid the whole thing. It's about 130 pages of the program. The whole thing was done on Canva. It's a PDF building sort of online website where you can build really 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 beautiful PDFs So built the whole PDF over on there I even rebuilt a second portion of the program on there So all in all I rebuilt about 150 pages of literature on Canva the rest of it is going to be a separate PDF format that is Just kind of the diet portion of everything. So all in all you'll have six seven seven PDFs. so Alpha 100 will be seven PDFs you can download to your cell phone or your computer I compressed all the files so it shouldn't be more than like 30 or 40 megabytes total. Uh, it was around like 200 megabytes and I compressed all of it down to a smaller file size so that it wouldn't be so bad without losing any quality. So that's that. That was kind of, that's been really fun for the past couple of weeks and so if you've been noticing me vlogging a lot later it's because I've been spending all day working on F100, working with clients and then getting to the camera. So it's been like a balance of working on this stuff, working on that stuff and trying to still work on videos and make really creative videos and it's been a bit of a struggle because I've been sick on and off through all this so it's been like that that's why my videos have been kind of off in my opinion and maybe aren't as good as some of the other ones because I've got so many things going on right now I'm trying to build up so many things also today I started working on the actual live downloads of Alpha 100 so basically I was working on coding everything with my website so that when you bought Alpha 100 you actually were emailed the digital products. So that, that was a very intricate process. I'm also working on some affiliate stuff. It's really kind of cool trying to figure out how all these affiliate things work. So if you go to like Christian's Instagram and he has, you know, ghost 10% off or, or whatever, or you go to someone's YouTube page and they have some people that they're affiliated with and they have the link. And so I'm working on that stuff. It's gonna, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of rewarding work. One thing that sucks right now is uh, one piece of software that I need that I thought I already had but I have to renew in two days is called Lead Pages. I've already renewed my website for the year, I've already renewed my email service for the year, I've already renewed everything for the year but Lead Pages needs to be renewed in two days, February 3rd. And Lead Pages is $300 a year. If I get that I'm probably not going to the Arnold Classic. I'm sorry for all you guys that wanted me to be there but business entrepreneurship it's so freaking expensive like ah ah this is why I don't have money to spend on anything else because just when I start to get ahead again I was just starting to get ahead again from spending the $600 on the Cobra I was like yeah I'm doing good I'm doing good I'm gonna have money to go to the Arnold and then yeah you gotta buy lead pages again Jordan so you can do Facebook ads and all this other stuff and that's 300 and that was the three or four hundred that I was gonna use to go to the Arnold and you know I'm gonna be spending about two hundred dollars on Facebook ads three hundred dollars on lead pages if I get it again I'm not hundred percent sure if I'm gonna get it again I'm sorry if you guys are bored with all this stuff so skip ahead if you're not into business talk type of stuff but lead pages basically is the gateway between me and getting my email opt-ins or, or getting opt-ins to anything. I can use a lead page. It's a very pretty sort of page that I can use to run on Facebook ads to get people to my email list, to Apple 100, to other things, to my YouTube channel, to whatever I want to drive traffic to. But you have to pay for that. And lead pages by itself is $300 a year. The email service, $20 a month. So it's also a couple hundred dollars a year. Goodness, it's rough. It's rough. Just in bills for like software and business stuff, I'm spending between two and three hundred dollars a month, and that's not like 
That's not car insurance. It's not food. That's not all this other stuff. So these are reasons why I can't afford an apartment yet. <laughs> I'm spending about the money that someone would spend on a cheap apartment on just business expenses, trying to build everything up. And so, yeah, that's what you got to look forward to if you ever want to be an entrepreneur. And it's, it's a long, hard journey of long, hard days of hard work. This, this, today has been one of those like really, really irritating days. <laughs> Video, it was just, it, it seemed like it kind of did really fast for some reason. Well, apparently something different's gonna happen. I'm gonna do some other things too. So what I got here basically is some very, very spicy barbecue chicken with about a pound of salad. This is going to be delicious. We're gonna eat this. Num, 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 num. Num, num. No 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 Dessert is four waffles and it is what time is it? It's it's 4.30. Hello? Dessert is four waffles with some sugar-free syrup and a little bit of butter mixed in. So freaking good. Oh my god. Precious book. <laughs> all day since about 8 30 this morning and I'm about to edit this video probably get that done by about 10 30 because I've already edited the drone footage but I haven't edited like the rest of it so after I do that I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits so here's kind of the DL on what happened today I worked on my affiliate program on Alpha 100 I worked on the download links the coding on my website on Alpha 100 I worked on filming, <laughs> obviously I, I film every single day, had a small little phone call slash business meeting, went to the park, recorded some drone footage, got back, and I've been like researching and researching and researching and studying Facebook ads and researching my target demographic, researching the different things that my target demographic would do, research, 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 and I just put together a Facebook ad just a $5 Facebook ad just to test things. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but it'll give me just a little bit of general information. And I'm just gonna work on that over and over and over again until I get it right. So that's what it's all about, guys. Doing things over and over and over again and getting a little bit better each day, learning a little bit more each day. That's what it's all about, whether you're in the gym or outside the gym, guys. Progressing in life is like sometimes very tedious doing the little things every single day to grow. That's one of the things that the gym can teach us. I don't know if you guys follow a man named Gary Vaynerchuk, but he talks about fitness entrepreneurs and how he can work 18 hours a day and he's good. Like it does not bother him whatsoever. It's in his blood. He doesn't feel tired whatsoever, but he does not want to go to the gym. He does not want to diet. If someone does not push him, he won't do it. He just, he just won't do it. So it's crazy how some people, like myself, can be so insanely dedicated to fitness, nutrition, and the gym and everything, and then undedicated in other things. I'm not saying that I don't like to work 18 hours a day. I, I do, but there are things in life that I just, I don't even, like, if someone doesn't, like, keep on me, I won't do it. Like, I'm not a super, like, organized person, so, like, if you let me, my house will be super unorganized and like carpet needs to be cleaned, dishes need to be washed. I'm not saying that I just like leave dishes in a dishwasher for like for forever. But I have ADD and I'm a creative and I'm not super organized and like literally I'd feel really, really weird if everything was super organized all the time. I think that would irritate me, which is weird because a lot of people get irritated because of the opposite. The point is guys, some of us can put in work in certain areas of our life and it's easy and it comes natural and it doesn't really feel like you're working but the things that don't come easy and the things that do feel like work 
we tend to procrastinate it all and put those things off. Some of us are better at certain things. We can just do certain things and kind of like not even be pay attention. <laughs> not even. Some of us can do certain things and not even be paying attention, while others can do those same certain things and have to like focus hardcore and it's hard work. For me, working out, progression, coaching, all that stuff is easy. The tedious, annoying stuff that's like work to me is doing research for Facebook ads, putting together my Facebook ads, programming my website, programming links, programming this, programming that, doing marketing stuff. I don't like to be a marketer. I'm not a marketer. I'm a creative. I like to create things. I like to create products. I like to create videos. I like to help people. I'm not a marketer. I'm not a salesman. But those two things, until I can hire someone to do those two things, I have to do those two things. And they feel like work. But basically, what I'm getting to, guys, is there are going to be things that you're good at that are easy, that, that don't feel like work at all. And there are going to be things that feel like work. In order to get by in life, to grow in life, we have to do the things that we're not just blessed to be good at. We have to do those things. So if there's something in life right now that you're procrastinating, that maybe you need someone to push you to do, do that. Just do that. Don't procrastinate on that thing anymore, if you get what I'm saying. With that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video. I've still got a lot of work to do. I don't want to be up all night. Um, so going to end the video here. I know this has been a lot of ranting, but that's been my day has been like trying to figure this out and trying to figure that out. So that's what's going on with me right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. All love. Nous ne ressentons pas assez et nous pensons beaucoup trop.